Well, I'm a member of the Society of Editors, and certainly, you know, our view is that there is something resembling a witch hunt going on, and that uh, these are flawed prosecutions. I think, above all, today's verdict, and it's not the first time that a jury has failed to convict journalists, I think it's a sign that you know, the public, in the form of the jurors, are taking a different view of what constitutes the public interest and the public's right to know than that taken by the prosecuting authorities. Peter Dukes, what's your thoughts? Well, exactly what a jury trial is for is that we establish these principles of law uh, by, you know, the 11 men and women from the street. Imagine there had not been uh, a case to answer, there hadn't come to court. The outcry that which happened, especially after the failed investigations of phone hacking in 2006. And this went through many legal stage, stages to get to a case to answer. And then it's there for the jury to decide whether these cases... But, but I, mean, I think I'm phone, hacking and phone hacking is somewhat different, Peter, from paying public officials. And I think you've got to remember that this is happening against the backdrop of what I think is a public realisation that the press are probably, and the media generally, are their best you know, information channel. Coming against the backdrop of the Cyril Smith re revelations, yes. Savile, Sir Peter Morrison, etc., I think the feeling is that uh, the establishment covers up and the press is their best way of discovering what is being, being hidden. But just on this, this specific uh, set of cases, and there have been previous acquittals as well, cases dropped, Someone has, as we heard there, we're now allowed to report, was sent to prison for selling information. It, this is the paradox. It, it, Which is a crime, yes, exactly. but it's not a crime to it's commission like, the crime. It's, it's like it's know? illegal, to, it's, it happened, wasn't it, briefly with marijuana in South London. It was uh, legal to buy, but illegal to sell. And mustn't be forgotten that this case was brought because the MSC, in the form of News Corps Management Service Committee, delivered up these names of private sources. Which is, of course has been a regular part of the defence, you know, has been the dismay of journalists including John Kay who's an old friend, you know, rather yeah. distressed and shocked that the company in fact disclosed the, you know, the information uh, yeah. and, the, and their, and their so, confidential sources. So does this mean now that uh, if a newspaper or news organisation feels it can get information in the public interest and pay people for it, they can go out and do it? No. Simple reason the Bribery Act came into force in 2012. The problem with these trials is a very complicated bit of law, misconduct, misconduct, which you have to know the public official was sufficiently seriously abusing their trust. And the journalists have to know that. It's like that song, Little Did She Know That I Knew, that she knows she's two-timing me. With the Bribery Act, this form of cash book journalism, checkbook journalism to public officials is finished. And that's probably a good thing. I think in an ideal world you don't pay sources but with public officials but we also have the whistleblower question and sometimes public officials you know are well intentioned they are genuine whistleblowers ideally they do it for nothing but sometimes it may be it, it may be system. because their careers are on the line in fact that they that they do but want some sort of you know, some sort of recompense and, it, and and I don't think that I think there should be a public well, interest the, defense there but the, this was a system a systematic payment of officials hundreds of thousands of pounds over. now we know that's wrong and any source knows that's wrong and that's probably a good thing because it wasn't done a lot of these stories were titillating stories salacious stories some were defending the public interest but actually great public interest stories generally don't need to be well, Isn't that the problem really with, with, with this and indeed with the hacking inquiry where we saw Rebecca Books acquitted and, uh, and others which is that the public when it comes to juries are not as bothered frankly about some of this behaviour if it gives them stories which they read in their hundreds and thousands as uh, the establishment perhaps more closely it's very dangerous 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 judging what a public you know is, is, is trying yeah. to say from a jury decision I think they think it's wrong but it wasn't sufficiently criminal enough and I don't think journalists should go to prison I think it was a corporate culture which now has ended which is good and you know I agree these are nice people these are good journalists most juries don't want to send them to prison doesn't mean what they did was right we also have to remember that, uh, that the majority of the public officials who have gone to jail pleaded guilty perhaps some of them are now wishing they didn't well and I hadn't some not. But do, do, I mean, you were arguing earlier on that you do think the public sees this differently from... I, I, from I do. I, th I think this is all part of, I think, a growing public perception that the press yeah. is, their, is their best protection against, against the establishment covering up. Okay, th there are still individuals on police bail. Yeah. There are big allegations and admissions of wrongful behaviour by Mirror Group. Yeah. Where's all this going to go? I mean, how many more trials? Well, it's the same. Once you started, you can't give an amnesty. In a way, I think the corporate culture has changed. 
you know, News Corp will no longer, some will not be paying public officials. People now realise it's wrong to intrude on voicemails, and that has, but you can't convict one person and then not go after the others. Yeah. So it will go on, and jurors me, we have other phone hacking trials to come forward, may have a slightly different yeah. conclusion. And I, and I do think there's a different approach from the public, i.e. juror, and in the form of jurors, to phone hacking as to uh, public officials, especially when there's a public interest defence being submitted.